Okay. Um, I guess I'll go into mine since I guess I already started talking about Mafia. Because I, I don't remember if I talked about it on here. But to sum it up, it is a open world game with no site activities to do. It is just an extremely... Um, I don't want to say linear because obviously there's the uh, open world, but you, so you can like mess around, just like walk around, do whatever, but there's no like actual <coughs> solid activities or anything to do like that. It's just story missions. And I think that works to the game's benefit because uh, Sarah can testify to this also with cyberpunk, uh, the pacing of narratives, whether it's the main story or specific side quests, the pacing yeah. is non-existent because there's yeah. so much shit you're doing in between. And Mafia, just like I, at face value, the story's interesting, but it's also just the pacing back to back to back. It's just like this just plays out like mm-hmm. a like a TV show. And it is such a refreshing thing to do when you're not playing like an Assassin's Creed game where they, it's like 100 hours and the story's so spread out. Um, so I really enjoyed it. The gameplay's, at least with a controller, not very good. Like the melee's kind of mm-hmm. broken. The, the gun plays like way too stiff, but it's a hell of an experience. Um, from what I recall from Mafia Three, at least, um, it, it the series gets better gunplay. I would have imagined that they would have fixed that for mm-hmm. the first one, but I guess not. But I would still overall highly recommend it. 